This is a uh, demonstration of the uh, S and G Sergeant and Greenleaf number six time lock, which is here, mounted to a Hall's Crescent time lock, which is the uh, a dual combination lock here. Now, what I wanted to uh, show was basically how this time lock interacts with the combination lock to uh, do what it does as far as keeping the combination lock from being able to function until this goes to zero. Right now I have uh, wound this lock up to j about one hour which has allowed this lever here to move to the left and lock onto this pin here and I will move it up a little bit closer so you can see that this piece here is now holding this piece up and what that does is it holds this fence which is this long piece here and this long piece here upward and as long as that's being held upward it cannot fall into this space which is designated by this tumbler here this wheel pack which is a, uh, a five uh, one two three four, five uh, uh, combination wheel pack so when this fence here can fall into this area here then the uh, combination lock can be uh, dialed in properly or in other words when it falls in the combination lock has been dialed in and both of these uh, allow the fence to drop the safe can be opened so basically when this goes to zero it will pull this back like so and because this is pretty gummy it's an old it's an old piece this isn't falling by gravity as it should so I will just simply push this down and now you see the fences have been allowed to drop and so the fences are now able to fall into this area here and the safe can then be opened. Now obviously it goes without saying that if the correct combination has not been dialed in all of these will not be aligned and the fence won't be able to drop because it'll be held up by the rest of this. We're assuming, of course, the correct combination has been dialed in and the fence is able to drop and then this can be opened. And that is demonstrated by this being able to be pushed back.